guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm here in Austin, Texas for a special media event. And guess what? We have a surprise vehicle that they brought out. It's this right here. What is it? This is the all new first drive of the 2024 Lexus RX 450H. But before we get into this mid-size two row SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. The RX. That really is the OG of luxury crossover SUVs. Many people thought Lexus was crazy for bringing it to market many years ago, but boy oh boy, are they the ones that are laughing the loudest and laughing last when it comes to what the competition is doing now. Now, I know you're probably saying to yourself, well, Joe, you've already done the RX. Well, guess what? This particular one, the 450H, this is the first time that media and auto journalists get to bring it to you in a full drive review. And what I want to find out is if you're looking for the best new midsize SUV that has two rows, do you go Lexus with the RX? Do you go BMW or maybe even an Infiniti or Mercedes Benz? Let's go ahead. Let's dive into our Nori Green RX 450H and find out. Right off the bat, the color. Nori green, I'm not really a big green kind of guy, but it's really working on the curves and the angles of this RX 450H. Now at the front of the business, you're gonna notice that triple LED beam headlights, love the way they have those slim and trim turn signals in there, and then the signature daytime running lamp from Lexus. Working our way down, a little bit of this dark chrome, gloss black finish, LED fog lamps, and a tad of functionality there. So the great news is we don't have to zonk it. The other good piece of news is that as we come across the front, I love what they did with the grill. So you have that spindle body grill design. As the front fascia wraps down the Lexus badge, right underneath that's a forward-facing camera, and I'm so glad that they did metallic gray rather than just a bunch of gloss black really works well with the Nori Green. And this is, you know, we bought, brought you the redesign of the RX. This is the look, but with the special touches of this being the 450H. Bottom portion, all functional, some flat black on that lower lip area, but this is the new interpretation of the spindle grill. They call it the spindle body. Let me know if you're liking this style, how it goes from body color to the gray finish. Now, as we rise up, you'll notice that deep curve because we have a low coefficient of drag and everything else with the front just kind of V's right towards the A pillars. Super smooth for that great airflow. Now, as we come around the bend, what are we working wheel and tire setup? You're getting this multi-spoke, nice hand-polished aluminum wheel. Love the style. It's a 21-inch wheel, 235 on the width, 50 series sidewall and Nori green body color all the way around the bend of the fender. Of course, you're gonna have your special suspension, all four corners and special chassis tuning. I even like the way they wrap around the headlight housing with the Lexus name there. Very, very sleek. Now, as we come down the side, this being obviously luxury-esque, you're gonna have some shiny uh, bits sprinkled some on the mirror cap with the Nori Green LED lighting, and then we're gonna have bright shiny metalwork top and bottom, and the bright silver on the roof rails. But the roof rails are nice and close to the body. One thing I'm a little confused why they did it is the flat black along the lower sill area. I wish that that was all body colored. Of course, you have a little bit of gloss black on the door handles, and as we continue towards the rear, the way that they did the glass looks phenomenal. Some vehicles just do a bunch of gloss black. This is actually the rear quarter glass. Looks fantastic. Obviously, this is where you're gonna fuel up and then coming towards the rear. Look at the way it almost has like an Arabian sword kind of deal with the way that it flares out on the trim. And then when we get to the back, thankfully, there's no wiper there. And that's how I was able to rest take a little bit of a break here at Austin without the wiper. And I get fingerprints, of course, all over the place. Nice and smooth, very clean. You have that long roof spoiler that's gonna have the wiper swing down and the way they did the lighting, 
very sleek, very modern, with the Lexus name spelled out. And then of course we have RX 450H plus all wheel drive. Going all the way down, a little bit more of the gray finish and then some flat black. I wanna show you something. We're gonna rise up a little bit and we had the fuel door on one side. Here is your charge port door because remember this is a plug-in electric hybrid. You're gonna plug it in right there, give you that great efficiency and great range. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and talk more about what's powering the 458. All right guys, we got the hood popped. You do have hood struts underneath the hood, tasteful engine cover. And obviously next to the engine cover, you'll see the electric motor with the usual bright orange, meaning that we have a hybrid. Not only do we have a hybrid, this is a plug-in electric hybrid. So what do we have? You're looking at a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder made it to the electric motors to produce 304 horsepower, 168 pound-feet of torque. It's made it to a CBT. Here is the big news, MPGs. 36 in the freaking city, 33 on the highway. It use, uses a lithium-ion battery pack, zero to 60 in 5.5 seconds, and you can do 37 miles of pure EV driving. What that means is, is that if you live 10 miles away from your grandmother to get to her house and back, you could do it without using a drop of gas. But why don't we go ahead, let's fire this up and see it roll. All right, guys, we are inside this seaweed wrapped Nori Green RX 450H. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I've been looking at all the German Euro vehicles. I feel like everybody and their mother has one where I live. I've always been around Toyota and Lexus products my whole life. My, my mother actually gave birth to me in the back seat of a Lexus LS many years ago. I'm liking this RX 450H. How much is it? This particular one, the way it's optioned, has an MSRP of $75,000. Let's see if it's worth the price to the door panels. I love the two-tone. You have that dark chocolate with the black material, Alcantara all over that upper portion. That's that microfiber suede material, the Mark Levinson sound system, the brown on the armrest, and then the pocket size is decent. You could easily get a Texas barbecue turkey leg in there and a nice huge Yeti bottle of Yoohoo to wash it down. Going from the door panel to the dash, soft touch material, more Alcantara, and then look at this real wood finish. I love the dark stain on it without the veneer. Once you put veneer on wood, I feel like it feels fuddy-duddy, like your grandmother's Lexus. This is actually really nice. Just be careful when you're rubbing your wood after a hard day of work, you don't wanna get splinters. As you slide on in, you have your ginormous 14-inch infotainment system. You've seen this before in all the other Lexus vehicles. It's the new multimedia system, great backup camera, 360, the whole shabam, heated seats, ventilated seats, heated steering wheel, the dual climate controls. You hit that bad boy, we do a 360 scan of the little filming spot area that we're in, and then we continue our journey. Two USB-Cs, you got a place for a Texas Twinkie, more of that nice wood finish, slide it open. What do we got going on? Wireless charging, a place for, I would say 500 grand. No, not $500,000 in cash, 500 grand bars, USB-C, USB-A, and a 12 volt. Slides close nicely, more of that wood. This is gonna control, of course, the CVT transmission. Two cup holders, soft material, and then watch this. I could open it up this way, but Steven right now is like, what about me, Joe? I can't show them what's in the center console. Okay, Steven, there you go. I could easily fit, I, fit, I would say, four balls, four baseballs, all signed by Cal Ripken Jr. You can sell them on eBay, and when you're done playing with your balls, you just put them in there until they're sold. Until you sell your balls, keep them in there. Seats, love the material. Perforated, look at the Alcantara with the design. Nice bolstering, full electric assist for the passenger, full electric assist for the driver. Of course, we're gonna have this beautiful, massive P90 
panoramic sunroof with the power shade, and of course, a digital rear view mirror. But why don't you come over to the business end? I wanna show you behind the wheel, the wooden wheel in this RX. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. Two, excuse me, three memory seat settings. Love this beautiful Lexus sill plate with the Lexus name there. You do have your seat controls with the lower lumbar. I'm six feet tall and this feels really good. And if you're saying, well, Joe, is the RX really a midsize? Yes, yes it is. The compact is the NX and then the full size is the LX. So that's why the RX is the midsize. Two row. Seats, well, this is a steering wheel. The seats, I got six feet tall, plenty amount of room in here. I know Steven's laughing right now, but guess what? It's been a long freaking day. Steering wheel, we got the leather, we got some wood, and it's very tasteful. It doesn't look corny. I'm, I'm impressed with how they pulled that off. You do have paddles to go through the um, simulated gears, and you do have electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then before we get to the dash, which is a seven inch digital display, I wanna show you how you have your different modes. And I like the way I could show it all right up here. Normal, sport, eco, and then you could customize whatever way you wanna do it. We're gonna go sport when we drive. And when we look at the dash, check it out. Watch this. When I do the modes, it actually changes the way the dash looks. I like leaving in sport. You got the red. That's gonna give you the quickest steering quickest response on throttle, and then you do have a head-up display as well. But let's get in the back seat because I want to show you the cargo area and hit the roads in this RX. All right, guys, back seat time, and I'm telling you right now, you got a lot of room in this thing, and this is why a two-row SUV that's midsize gives you so much more. It's not that they just take out the third row. They really take advantage of having more space in the mid-row. You do have manual sunshades, which are nice, Backs of the seat, soft material, large pockets. Look at this. You could easily put an abacus back here. You could put uh, a Texas Instruments calculator. And then you have your rear AC vents. Three stages of heated seats. Oh my God, OMG. Three stages of ventilated seats. Two USB-Cs. And then you could just hit the buttons to shut it off. And then look at this here. You actually have your chauffeur seat controls. So you could actually move the front seat from the back seat. That's why they call it the chauffeur seat. Not because the chauffeur sits in it, because you can control it as if you were the chauffeur while you're being chauffeured around. But sitting here feels good. The seats do not slide. So just something to think about. And if you wanna recline them, it really is a pain and they just move a little bit. You actually have to reach around. It's kinda, kinda don't, yeah, kinda don't like that setup, but the material, just like up front, especially the Alcantara, and then look at this. Semi-soft on the armrest. You could put a one-pound bag of Skittles, nicely done in there, and you got your two cup holders. So they got you covered there. But why don't we go ahead, let's get into the cargo area because I wanna go for a drive. All right, guys, time to get in that cargo area. Hit the button, nice electric assist. Now, one thing to know is that the rear bumper area is kinda high. What I do like is I love this aluminum trim with the Lexus name that lights up. And then you have your cargo space. With the rear seat up, you're looking at 29.5 cubic feet of space. Fold the seats down, you're looking at 46.1 cubic feet of space. What I do really think is smart is you have the optional Velcro first aid kit. You got little Lexus band-aids for all those bumps and bruises you might get in life. And then the other thing is on the driver's side, you have your subwoofer from the Mark Levinson sound system, and then you also have your buttons to fold down the rear seats. So that's another nice touch. Underneath here, if you're wondering, well, Joe, where, where's the charging accessories? You just lift this up, and that's where you have your charging accessories. Right now we have it in all wrapped up in bubble protection so it doesn't get bumped or anything. I wish I could pop these right now. They're not big. They're real tiny. It's like a little, little nothing, but all charging accessories, everything else is for the battery and everything. Fold it back down, but let's get to it. If you're ready, I'm ready. We got the keys. Let's go for a first drive in the RX 450H. All right, guys, we're inside this 2024 Lexus RX 450H. Right away, all the things that we have shown you, the great things that you love about the RX are obviously in this 450H as well. 
And what does that mean? That means you're gonna have comfortable seating, lots of great space, lots of great technology. And now with this particular vehicle, we can go into full EV mode. And what that's gonna do is allow us to go up to 37 miles without using a drop of gas. That to me is out of this world. But what's great is, is that you don't feel that 2.5 liter naturally aspirated inline four turning on and turning off. It actually is very smooth, the operation of the electric motors and the internal combustion engine going down this road, obviously not the smoothest of roads, but it does a great job of making sure all that NVH, what does that stand for? Noise, vibration, harshness does not enter the cabin. Even when we're going over railroad tracks, I mean, that was pretty darn good without getting a lot of noise. Now, with this being a plug-in electric hybrid, of course, you're gonna have a lower center of gravity, so that's gonna help with overall handling. And then I'm gonna give you a little taste here. I'm gonna come to a, a stop right here, and then we're gonna go on throttle. You ready? On throttle! With that all-wheel drive, it's gonna give you that quicker zero to 60 time. So you're looking at a sub six second zero to 60, which for this type of vehicle is actually quite phenomenal how they're able to get that balance of MPGs and also some peppiness. Now, I like the way that when you go into the different modes, it changes the setup of the seven inch display. Obviously, because we're in sport, we have the bright red on the dash. Seats are comfy. Even the way they did the soft touch material on the side of the center console. Of course, you have all these different storage spaces and the wireless charging down below. I think one of the biggest takeaways is that even on a sunny day, you're not gonna get a ton of glare in here because it's a lot of flat black. And I think that's the smart way to go. Hey right, guys, pulling away from the light. I like the throttle sensitivity even in sport, feels good. And just, it's really well done going over these manhole covers, all the dips and the crevices of this road here. It just really shows the work that they did with this platform to make it a nice driving experience. Love the leather on the steering wheel. The wood finish looks very, very classy. And the ease of driving this vehicle is really, really well done. Of course, you got your simulated shifts by hitting the paddles. And then you also have the ability to, of course, have that regen braking that's gonna help regenerate and re-energize the battery in this vehicle. So they're really giving you uh, a nice variety of ways to really make the driving experience be unique for whatever the situation might be that you are operating your, R your RX with. But the space, the comfort, the quietness, it feels really fantastic in here. And then of course you're gonna have that bulletproof reliability that Lexus is known for, and also the resale value. So that's something to think about when we're talking about the price of this vehicle is also resale value when you go to step into your next Lexus. Once again, nobody's behind us. I wanna go on throttle with you, you ready? On throttle, here we go. Up the hill and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. She lives in Austin. But anyways, going up that hill, not a problem. Even over the bumps, the uh, all-wheel drive system gets the power to the ground very nicely. And it really feels, I think, natural to how the acceleration is with the electric motor and with the internal combustion engine. Visibility is great. You got the digital rear view mirror. You got the technology you want. The safety features with the Lexus safety sense and everything 3.0. So they got you covered every which way. 
But I hope that this has been a good overall review of the all new RX 450H. We're gonna get back to where it all started and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right guys, it's been another fun filled day out here deep within the town of Austin, Texas. Definitely wanna thank the whole Lexus team for bringing out this RX 450H. Let me know what you think. Is it worth the price? Is it the way to go over the competition? I'm dying to read what you have to say in the comment section. But if you're new to the channel, you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. Of course, we can't do it without Stephen Flood. He's pushing his body to the limits. He may be on his way to the hospital to get some fluids and some medical attention, but we'll see what happens. Thank you, Stephen, for pushing yourself past the boundaries of the human body and the human experience. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.